On this date last year, the Daily Texan put out a video explaining the current state of medical marijuana law in Texas. Today, on the steps of the Capitol, we hope to provide you with an analysis of the law as it stands, but also a deeper insight into what the future of the debate may hold. When we last checked in on legislation, House Bill 2107, a law attempting to broaden the use of medical marijuana, was being pushed by a group of bipartisan lawmakers. The bill couldn't generate the amount of support needed to present a piece of legislation on the House floor, effectively killing the bill in December of 2017. Without the House bill to allow for wider coverage, how has the conversation around medical marijuana changed over the last year? At the end of 2017, the Texas Department of Public Safety authorized three dispensaries to begin growing and selling a cannabis oil that contains extremely low levels of THC, a psychoactive compound, while boosting a non-euphoric element known as CBD, the component known to treat epilepsy and other medical conditions. However, those dispensaries must front upwards of $500,000 in licensing fees just to start growing the product. Getting access to medical marijuana might be just as difficult as getting a license to grow it. The Texas Compassionate Use Act restricts the legalized sale of cannabis oil specifically to epilepsy patients. In a state with a population of 28 million people, there are currently only 33 physicians listed in the Compassionate Use Registry that can recommend the medication. And of the estimated 150,000 Texans that suffer from intractable epilepsy, those 33 doctors and three dispensaries might face difficulty dealing with demands. Texas seems to have taken two steps forward and one immediately back. If the goal of relaxing laws is to provide access to those most in need, then why is Texas implementing restrictions that seem to do the opposite? Politicians, including Greg Abbott, have cited potential abuse of the system and overdosing as reasons for heavy regulations on the drug. Well, there, there, there's been, uh, as one example, uh, multiple reports of different cases where, uh, because of lack of standardization, uh, there have been overdoses or, or uh, overreactions uh, in a very bad way uh, for individuals who were using it there. However, with 29 states and D.C. currently allowing for the medical use of marijuana and the growing support for legalization in the U.S. over the last decade, politicians are facing increased pressure to take action. Texas is an ever-changing state, and its progression in certain areas is fascinating to watch. No one can predict what will happen throughout the next year, but one thing is for certain. People are fighting for care, and we're here to document their fight.